And then the third is possibility. How do you open up your receptivity and openness to that universe of thought that exists out there? Well, I believe that mindfulness techniques do that. Mindfulness techniques are designed to bring you into the space where you draw your attention to your whole field of awareness, all the thoughts in your awareness at one time without focusing or grasping onto anything. Most of the people I've talked, I just did, met with a group of uh, young uh, spiritual seekers in Tucson, they're college students, and they all mentioned how brutally hard it was for them to try to master mindfulness. My beloved ex-sweetheart and partner in crime on a lot of projects, Jan Cold and I wrote a book called Repose the Potent Pause. Uh, we, fell, we fell into this position one day in a park. And I said, hmm, this has something. So this is repose. You lie on the ground or on a bed or on a mat or on, if you're lucky enough on a sandy beach or a lawn that doesn't have fire ants. <laughs> and you lie there. I can't believe the fire ants thing. <laughs> and so, uh, and you lie there for seven minutes. We did this research study and we put people through this and we had them lie in this position for seven minutes three times a day. And after 30 days, we found all kinds of health benefits. Certainly mental health benefits, improved optimism and happiness levels, confidence levels, uh, social functioning, psychological functioning. It, in terms of physical activity, they, uh, fewer days of physical or work activity missed because of pain, injury, illness as a after 30 days. We had one woman who cured chronic insomnia that she had had for six years after the death of her husband after a month. And she didn't believe it. We wrote about this in, in the Repose book. She didn't believe that it was, she thought, oh, okay, I'm fixed now. She stopped doing Repose every day. And then the insomnia came back with a vengeance six months later. And then she was a believer and then she started doing Repose every day, lying in Repose every day. And the insomnia went away and as far as we know it stayed away. So that's not why I love, I love, I don't love repose for that reason. I love repose because it, when I started doing this three times a day, the book started to flow. And I started to be in that experience of inspiration. I started to live in that experience more. I could sustain that experience. The reason I believe it works is there's a phenomenon called somatic feedback. This is, again dates to William James. James said, it's sometimes the body leads the mind and not the other way around. You don't run from the bear because you're afraid. Because for you to process it, you have that half second delay in awareness and go, bear, scary, run. Oh, you've just given that bear a big head start. Big. And you might just be bear lunch. You start running, your heart starts racing, your autonomic system kicks into gear and you're out there. And then you go, oh, I'm running, my heart's beating, I'm sweating. There's a big object chasing me. I think I'm scared. So the fear comes last. They did, they have done studies in psychology where they, this is really a complicated study. Okay, here, follow this. Take this pen and put it in your mouth. Put it like this. <laughs> or put it like this. Guess what? For people who did this, reported feeling happier than the people who did this. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is it that simple? Somatic feedback. Put yourself in a happy face and you're happy. Put yourself on a sad face <laughs> and you're sad. Put yourself in the op most open, receptive state you can put yourself in physically, and your mind will follow. I'm proof of it. So I would say to you, if nothing else gets taken home from tonight, you should really think about doing repose. You should think, it's not even doing, because there's nothing to do. And, and if you ask me, what do you think about when you're in repose? I don't care. That's why it's not meditation. I'm not teaching you how to do squat. Because the body will lead your mind where it needs to go. You don't have to work at it so hard. It's really so simple. You go, can't be that simple. It's that simple.